In this video, we will illustrate the key steps in a flow cytometry experiment, sample preparation, cell fixation and permeabilization, immunostaining and analysis. All of the solutions and reagents that you will need to prepare your cells are shown on screen. Detailed information on how to prepare these solutions is available on our website. The first step will be to harvest your cells by gently scraping using PBS buffer containing 5 millimolar EDTA. Collect the cells and transfer to a 15 milliliter conical tube, then centrifuge and aspirate the supernatant. Wash the cells once with cold PBS and discard the supernatant. Please skip the next two steps, fixation and permeabilization, if you are testing live cells. Resuspend the cells in fixation buffer and incubate at room temperature for 30 minutes or overnight at 4 degrees Celsius. Centrifuge and remove the supernatant. Wash the cells twice with cold PBS and discard the supernatant. Please skip the next step, permeabilization, if your protein of interest is extracellular. Resuspend the cells in the permeabilization buffer and incubate at room temperature for 10 to 20 minutes. After removing the supernatant, resuspend the cells in PBS and aliquot 1 to 2 million cells into each test tube containing the blocking buffer. Incubate on ice for 30 minutes and discard supernatants. Add primary antibody at the appropriate dilution to the test tubes and incubate for 30 minutes on ice. Centrifuge and discard the supernatant. Wash the cells three times by centrifugation using fax buffer and remove the supernatant after the last wash. If your primary antibody is directly linked to a fluorochrome, you can skip this step. Otherwise, resuspend the cells in your fluorescent dye conjugated secondary antibody diluted to the appropriate concentration. Incubate on ice for 30 minutes in the dark. Wash the cells three times with fax buffer. Finally, Resuspend the cells in cold 1x PBS and analyze on the flow cytometer as soon as possible. For more details and troubleshooting, please visit our website at origin.com/support/protocols.